what is water backup and sub pump overflow coverage on your home insurance policy? So most standard home insurance policies are gonna cover certain types of water damage that occur at your home, as long as they're sudden and accidental. I always talk about sudden and accidental. Some examples of that would be if a pipe bursts or if a uh, refrigerator water line breaks and floods your home, in most cases, that would be covered. However, there are certain types of water damage that is excluded on most home insurance policies. An example of that would be if water backs up through your sewer or through your drains, or if your sub pump overflow. Things like that are not covered on your home insurance policy. So if you're worried about that, you need to specifically add on a coverage called water backup and sub pump overflow coverage onto your normal home insurance policy. When trying to decide how much coverage you need, think of the worst case scenario and then go from there. For example, if you have a basement and your sub pump overflows, how much damage could be done? Or if you have a two story home and the sewage in the upstairs bathroom overflows, think of how much damage could be done there and that's your answer as to how much coverage you need. People ask me all the time, do I need this coverage? Here's your answer. If you have a basement, yes, you need the coverage. If you have a sub pump of any kind, yes, you need the coverage. If you have an older home with older plumbing, yes, you need the coverage. Keep in mind though, insurance isn't gonna cover things that haven't been proper, properly maintained or neglected. Basically, the answer is if you have a home and you have home insurance, you need this coverage. Just a few tips for you guys as to how you can avoid certain claims like this. I have four tips for you. The first thing is properly dispose of grease. That means not pouring it down your plumbing, not down your drain. Second tip, properly dispose of paper products. I know with this corona going on, you're probably flushing all kinds of crazy things down your toilet. Don't do that. Only flush toilet paper down your toilets. Also check your tree roots. They can mess up your plumbing that leads into your home, which can cause an overflow or a backup with your plumbing. And then also make sure all your plumbing is always done by a professional. Don't do it yourself if you don't know what you're doing. Hire a professional, make sure it gets done correctly. So get this coverage and keep water out of your house and in the pool where it belongs.